Today, I'll be elaborating on the mixed dentition analysis, which is a part of model analysis. So, there are varying number of modern analysis in primary and permanent teeth, as well as in mixed dentition. So, the, there are various uh, model analysis uh, techniques for the permanent dentition like arch perimeter analysis, the caries analysis, the mandibular analysis, Korkov's analysis, Bolton's analysis. They depend on the ratio or the perimeters or the dimensions of the primary and the permanent teeth and for comparing the space which is available for the eruption of the permanent teeth and which will further compare it the space which is allowed for the eruption of the permanent teeth so it will depict or it will predict whatever whatsoever if crowding or spacing will be predictive in future in the primary or the permanent dentition so one of the most important model analysis in mixed dentition analysis is Moore's mixed dentition analysis so to introduce it as that first it basically involves the cast it does not involve the radiographs at all so it is a time period between 6 to 12 years of age which stands for the mixed dentition when this analysis can be carried out so it can predict now what is the outcome of this mixed dentition analysis it can predict the space which is available for the eruption of the permanent premolars that is both the bicuspids and the cuspids which will erupt in future in the maxillary as well as the mandibular cast so this generally relates that there is a relativity between the dimensions of a particular type of tooth to the other type of tooth so according to the mixed dentition analysis the main purpose of this analysis is to analyze the space which is available to the space which is present for the eruption of particular permanent teeth to erupt in the oral cavity so this was basically the purpose of it now let us see what are the basic requirements of the mixed dentition analysis here we can require a maxillary and the mandibular cast whichever the tooth size needs to be predicted the bolus gas the vernier calipers then compasses divider and we need a moes probability chart which is different for both the maxillary as well as a mandibular teeth so basically uh, the what is the method underlying this mixed dentition analysis first what we do first we take the cast and we measure the mesiodistal widths of all the maxillary or the mandibular whichsoever analysis is going to take place for example if we consider a mandibular arch we'll take the mesiodistal dimensions of the central and the lateral incisor and these mesiodistal dimensions are taken from the middle most or the middle third of the tooth which corresponds to the greatest dimension of the tooth so first we'll calculate the mesodistal width of the teeth which is a central and the lateral incisor by the means of a bolus gorge then finally we add all the mesodistal teeth width of one side so this is how we calculate the space which is present for the incisors or which is allows the incisors to erupt in the oral cavity so next we determine the space needed for the alignment of the incisors for example if the incisors are not aligned properly or if there is crowding of incisors or the anterior teeth in the oral cavity then what we do we place the poly scotch in the middle of the dental arch and then we measure the space which is available for the eruption of the primary incisor or the permanent incisors then so we consider that the incisors are already aligned and at the middle of the arch we measure the dimensions of the arch by which we get to know what is the space which is required for the eruption of the permanent teeth so we place the vernier calipers or we place the bolus gauge at one point of the oral cavity and extend it to the other point so we can calculate the space which is available for the eruption of the incisors and the mesodistal width of the incisors 
which will add up and tell us the space which is needed for the eruption of the incisors. For example, if the space which is available, which is measured by the dental arch is lesser than the space which is required for the mesodistal width of the incisors to erupt, then there will be crowding of the teeth or otherwise there will be spacing in the teeth. So we consider that the aligned incisors are properly aligned and we calculate the space and we mark on the cast the precise points. Now what we do by adding these mesodistal width of the incisors, there is a particular probability chart of the cuspids for the maxillary and there is a particular probability chart of the cuspids for the mandibular. So for the particular width of all the central incisors, there is a corresponding probability value which corresponds to the space which is required for the eruption of the premolars and the cuspids in the oral cavity. So we match these values, whatever is the uh, total calculation of the incisors, we match it to the total calculation of the probability in the chart of the premolars and the cuspids and we get the value that how much space will be required for the eruption of the cuspids and the bicuspids. So if the space which is available is less the space which is required, it will lead to crowding of the teeth. So we can predict by the means of model analysis whether there will be crowding or spacing in the teeth and we, go, we can go for future preventive and interceptive orthodontic procedures. So this was a longer method of the calculation where 50% of predictability was of the experienced clinician and 75% predictability is considered to be for the inexperienced or the beginners. Now we come to a shorter method or this method is considered to be less precise than the method which was already I have explained as a long method. The shorter method involves addition of all the mesodistal width of the incisors that is the central incisor and the lateral incisor and first we measure it by the means of a Bolli's gauze. The maximum width is calculated from the mesodistal dimensions or the middle third of the tooth and all these widths are added by finally adding the mesodistal width of the central and the lateral incisor of one side we divide it by two and after dividing it by two if we add a value of 10.5 to the same we get the combined width of the mandibular canine and the premolars and if we add 11 to it we get the combined width of the maxillary premolars so this was a shorter method for the calculation of the space which is required for the eruption of cuspids and the bicuspids rather than a probability chart. So similar procedure as we have carried out in the mandibular arch we are supposed to be carried out in the maxillary arch only the difference is that the probability chart is different and some overjet or some crowding corrections should be done in the maxillary arch. Now what are the advantages of the same? The main advantage is that it does not require any hi-fi equipments or it does not require a lot of time or it is tech not technique sensitive at all. It just requires maxillary and a mandibular cast. It does not require any radiographic exposure or any radiographic films also and it is a very simple procedure which can be used by both the expert clinicians as well as the newly uh, coming clinicians. So it can be done in both the arches and it is not time consuming at all. And basically it has a minimum systemic error. So we can say that more mixed dentition analysis is one of the most advantageous analysis to be carried out. It is one of the most simpler one and can be, can be carried out by anyone. So this is easy to perform on both the cast that is maxillary or the mandibular. So these were the advantages of the Moyer's mixed dentition analysis. And from this finally we can infer the space which is required for the eruption of the cuspids and the bicuspids. 
by carrying out a probability test for the mesodistal width or the dimensions of the permanent incisors which have already been erupted which will further help to calculate whether there will be crowding or spacing in future in the dentition or the space which is available is sufficient for the space which is required to erupt of the permanent teeth. Thank you.